Hello and welcome. My name is Trey Noob and this is Crusader Kings 3. Well, after the last horrible, horrible campaign, the Bjorn to Rule failure, we are going to go after a different um, achievement. We're going to go after the uh, Land of the Rus achievement, where we will start as Jarl Rurik, Troublemaker in Homegarder, which will very soon become Novgorod. And try to lead our dynasty through becoming the emperor of Russia. So, this is who we start as, Jarl, Jarl Rurik, who is currently Norse, which is why this is named Homegarder, but we will soon be converting to Russian. We are brave, just, ambitious, and gregarious. And our son, Helgi the Seer... Is our heir. We've got Iron Man on, of course, so that we can get the achievement. And let's move right in. All right. First things first. We're above the domain limit, but that'll sort itself in just a minute. Uh, we have the martial lifestyle. And we are already pretty far down right now, the Overseer. So that's kind of nice. We'll go ahead and finish that off, and then we'll see how things are going, whether we want to continue into another one or not. But, for the moment, I think we'll just go for, hmm, I think we'll go for the Marshall plus three, for now. And then, let's see what else we got going on here. Um, so, we want to check out our council, see if there's anybody that desperately needs replacing, and gosh, a lot of them do. Helgi, you're... You're pretty rotten at that. Um, although you could make a decent marshal, but... Oh, he's quick. That's nice. And reckless. Well, you know, that's a thing. Uh, you, sir, just... Just... Suck. Uh, and you're not that awesome either, so... Do we have anybody that can replace you? I mean, we do, but it's only one point better, and that'll make you mad, so... No point in doing that. What about you, good sir? I mean, there's got to be somebody way better than you. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm, uh... For three bucks, I can recruit him in and... And get a... M or her. And get a much better spy master. You're horrible. I'm sorry, you're, you're just going to have to be upset with me. Too bad. And she likes me 3,000. Um, which is nice. Okay, so we want to sway our priest, however you say this word, off Godi, off Gut, off Gort, I don't know, priest. So we got that going. Uh, the waifu, we'll leave her as assist ruler right now, she's pretty, pretty decent across the board there. Um, my heir is unmarried, so let's see what we can do about this. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff to do to get to the Empire of Russia, but we don't want to rush too fast because we are stuck with the partition government um, inheritance type, and that tends to make a mess of things if you go too far too fast. Let's see, this is Chiefdom of Minsk. So we could get an alliance here, which might be a good idea. E He's probably, yeah, he's pretty strong. He's about as strong as us, so... She doesn't have any traits, but... She's pretty good at both diplomacy and um, stewardship, so... That's a that's a good waifu. And she's already Russian culture, so that'll help, because we're going to be converting to that pretty quick. So let's get... And, and my son has quick, so... That'll be good. All right, so we'll get him married off. Then we will get... Yeah, we took care of that. Are there any concubines that are good? No. There's no reason for me to get that. I'm not in a rush for kids. I've got some time because I'm only 37 years old. My wife's only 17. I might have some quick kids as well. So, you know, right now I've only got one heir, no spare, but we'll get there. 
We can create titles, but we're not going to... We can already create Novgorod, the kingdom, but we're not going to do that quite yet. There's a couple more things we want to pull in before we do that. Uh, that's Powerful Vassal that I just fired, so he's tough. We're dealing with this. All right, so decisions. So let me know when I can do this. I'm not going to worry about that yet. Uh, I want to just go ahead and convert to local culture. I want to be Russian because then I can become the cultural head fairly easily, I think. Um, and let me know when I can do these things. And we're going to go ahead and search for a physician. Because we need one of them. Uh, and let's see who we've got in the way of champions. So we'll go ahead and recruit this guy. He's decent. We want to forbid... The marshal could fight, but we forbid our priest... Uh, our chancellor, our steward. Where are my other people? Spy master's not listed. Oh, because my spy master's a a female. All right, so we're gonna be short a champion, but that's okay. Um, so we accept the marriage proposal, and we now have a. Uh, Alliance with Minsk, which is nice. Let us see who we've got here. A 10. Meh. 8. Meh. Um, honestly, both of you failed to impress me. Search some more. Uh, the marriage. And we converted culture. Alright, so now we want to start promoting cultures cross here because it's much easier to keep control of people if they're your same culture. Uh, we don't need to increase any control. Let's see if we can find some secrets anywhere. Um, very low chances of finding secrets. Do, 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 do. Let's look there because we're going to want to go after those folks pretty soon. So we, we need them as part of our, uh, you know what I'm trying to say, empire, words, come on, you know, uh, we will want them, eventually we'll want to take Minsk, but we can leave them for a while because we're also going to have to come up here. The problem is the culture, right now I'm not the cultural head, and the Russian culture is all down here, so I'm controlling not much of it, and the guy that's the cultural head, oops, wrong, wrong buton. The guy that's the cultural head is down here. So he's got all a bunch of little things that are Russian. So his count is very high, even though I think I technically have more more square footage of land than he does. But anywho, all right. So I think what we're gonna do. We've already got 1,891 levy. We haven't even gotten any um, men-at-arms yet. Uh, I think I'm going to... We're still over our domain limit, so I think I'm going to get the waifu to help manage the domain. And that should be enough to take care of that. Yeah. All right, so we're good there. Um... I could declare wars, yeah, titles. Don't want that. Uh, let's go ahead and invite some champions. And let's call a hunt. So we can get some prestige going here. And while that's happening, we are going to go ahead and see about taking this over. My vessel, Cairo is the first to see it. The powerful bear is hard to distinguish from its surroundings, but is observing us through the undergrowth. I lock eyes with the animal, and it is almost as if it can sense my intention, for it suddenly takes off. We ride! Uh, no. We, we just ride. Let's go get it. Eat chicken. Uh, let's first make sure he doesn't have any alliances. No. So he's all by himself. He's got nothing, so this ought to be a fairly simple little war. We'll just con conquer this one county, because that's all he's got. And... Let's go! So we'll go ahead and raise all 
I don't need a new rally point because um, we're already kind of pretty much right there. And he's just going to run away. He's not. He's not going to stick around and fight. What he's probably going to do. We'll get back to you in just a second. What he's probably going to do is come out here in a boat and walk around this way and try to ring around to my capital while I'm sieging down his. So it's just going to be a siege race. Either that or I chase him all over the map, which I'm not going to do. We follow the bear on its flight through a ravine, and suddenly Chieftain Cairo's horse loses its footing and sends him to the ground screaming. His horse was screaming, or Chieftain Cairo was? There's nothing fatal, but the Chieftain's twisting in pain. We press on. He doesn't like me as much, but I gain some prestige, or I give him time to recover. Well, dude, learn to ride a horse. I'm sorry, but if you're coming on a hunt with me, you should be a better rider. Let's see if maybe we can catch this guy. Yay! Got him. Well organized levy service. Yaha. And we got a champion. So let's see about this guy. We're whooping his butt. I know that it is a killing shot before the arrow even finds its target. As the bear stumbles and falls, we drown out its walls with shouts of victory. It fails. Yeah, I can read. A good kill. All right, who can we record? recruit? Recruit? Sure. That's way better. All right, we won that fight. Let's go siege this down, and we should be done with this war. The hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses to leave the taiga behind us as the servants prepare the bear and other game for the journey back. In spite of our difficulties along the way, the hunt went very well. We return home. All right. So we got some prestige there, which was nice. Um... We need more, more dudes coming. I've already got 50% war score because I crushed his army, so this ought to this ought to be it. Call on our ally. I don't really need an ally right now. I can host a feast. Sure, cost 50 bucks and we'll get some some people liking us better. Welcome, friends, to my feast of plenty. <laughs> Feast is underway and our guests are eating and drinking merrily. Chieftain Ingvar approaches Ingrid and me at the great table. This is a marvelous feast. All my compliments to the hosts. Oh. Well, I mean, she likes me a lot, so I could afford to lose 10 opinion of her and be kind of a jerk. Or get her more opinion for me and get a bunch of people's opinions up. Let's do that a nice thing to do, right? I am a little confused as to why my wife wants to present a grand gift to me in the courtyard. I soon understand, however, as High Chiefess Ingrid orders a group of soldiers into line. <gasps> nice. A complete regiment, raised from my own lands, ready to serve you. This is a grand gift. Oh, it most certainly is. So I can get a three, an army of 300 in Novgorod, or personal guard for zero days? That seems like a bug, maybe? Um, that'll just give me more prowess. But for zero days, I... Let's just get the 300 men. I mean, I don't really need more prowess at the moment. As one plate of food is replaced by the next, my vassal, Chieftain Karhu, goes on and on about ancient military campaigns. And that was how we salvaged that mess. Are you sure I'm not boring you, my lord? Oh no, please do go on. Interesting conversation or some stress and friendship. What does this do for me? Diplomacy and learning? Yes, please. Please keep talking. And I still have no stress, but we haven't really done much yet, so... With everyone headed for their respective homes, I am proud to say that the feast was a success. I have my wife Ingrid to thank for much of its success, and I feel nothing but gratitude as she sees the last few guests off. Until next time. 150 prestige, 20 opinion. Oh. And the, my, my priest starts endorsing me, so yay. That's good. You get more attacks and... Levy. 
Oh, yay, we got another champion. Oh, my waifu is pregnant. With an actual son for me. Alright, hold on, game. Let me, let me get through these things. Uh, find secrets. We won the thing. Uh, fine. We'll leave that alone. We should be at 100% war score, so let us enforce our demands. Uh, good, good. And then we can disband our troops. We'll go raiding in a minute. But first, I need to check out this new champion that arrived. Uh, he's, he's okay. Let's just go ahead and recruit him. So now we're full on champions and have a few spares, which is nice. Um, oh, and they'll be inherited. Oh, these are permanent. I thought they'd just be around for a little bit. And we swayed Carl, so it's getting better. All right, let's see. Where's a good place to go raiding? Probably... Who are we going to attack next? Probably Polotsk. We pull them in. Now we want to make this... We want to create the Kingdom of Novgorod before I die. Because that makes the succession stuff a lot less messy. So we don't want to wait too long. Um, there's no real reason, though, to... To weaken this guy. I should just go ahead and take him. I mean, he doesn't have a lot to loot, and I can just, I can just take him. Oh, the other thing I should be doing is increasing my control in Vodi. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because what we don't want to happen is a bunch of independence factions popping up. What do we got going on here? Titles and wars. Yeah, and low control. I know. We're we're handling that. Don't worry about it, game. We got it. I don't know. I, mm, we don't really need to raid right now. I think we just go ahead and take this as well. And just conquer that county. Should we do that, chat? Sure. Okay. I'll do that. Should be a pretty easy war, too. Um, let us go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and just create a rally point here so I don't have to walk as far. Uh, which will be nice. And let's raise our armies here. He's got his little army there. And we'll go smushy smushy. Faction has created against me. Peasants. Bloody peasants. Alright, we've got another uh, champion. I mean, he's okay. I'll create him for three bucks. Because he's better than... people. Alright, we're going to start swaying some of our folks, too. Alright, got rid of them. I'm already at 14%. Taking their capital here should do the trick. I mean, I could chase his army around, but meh. That's, that's not necessary, nor is it worthwhile. So I won't do it. I had a little daughter. Svenislava. You know what? I'm going to change the name because I can't say that. Oh my goodness. Velislava. Alright, that one I can do. Wait. Let's just name her Ingrid. After Ingrid, you've been a good wife. Ooh. We'll let the baby carry your name on. Sounds good, right, Chet? I like it. Alright. Get him. There we go. And I got his son. Alright, so that's 100% of that. Wait, wait, wait. I should uh, see if I can ransom his son off. Get a little little bucks. 34, he can't afford the 50. But I'll take 34 bucks. That's fine. Uh, bye bye Alright, now let's enforce the demands and take this. Uh, oh, I gotta wait for him to... Yeah, he accepted that. All right, fine. Good deal. Victory. We got the stuff. and got some fame. Got a few bucks. And... Uh, Bye-bye, army. All right, now. We've got a an issue here that we're going to need to take care of. But that's fine. All right, so what do I have and what do I want to keep? 
So in here is, I've got two high chiefdoms. And then I've got Bellu Zero, which is not in one of my high chiefdoms, so I should probably ditch that. All right, so let us grant this to not my heir. Who's got a really high... He's looking decent. And he's not Russian, though. I would like somebody that is Russian. Alright, let's, let's narrow this down a little bit. I want somebody who's not already a ruler, so I don't want more powerful people. And I would like to have somebody who is Russian, please. Please and thank you. Wow. This group of people really sucks at stewardship. Alright, well. Let's see about all the Slavic... Oh my lord. Alrighty. Well. Well, you know. I guess we'll take this guy. Congratulations. Oh, that is in my high chiefdom. Wait, wait. Hold off on the congratulations there for a second, fruitcake. Let's see what the Dutch... Okay, so this is mine, this is mine. Am I owning any of this stuff? So I want to give the Palatsk away, because that's actually beyond. Alright, so you can have this one. Alright, how about that? Nadbor. Lekowicz. Where is it? Oh, it's already hot. Alright, there we go. Alright. So, congratulations. Welcome to be in a count. Or a chief. Powerful vassal demands... Well, I mean... Okay. That's actually... You're actually better, so... So, okay. There you go. I could do that. That actually made this a little faster, so... Hooray. Um, let's see. What have I got? I don't have anything better there, really. It, well, not, not just really, just at all. Oh, hey. He is better at this, though. I don't want to lose that, though. But, hey, but, oh. And he's not a powerful vassal, so... Oh, that's my son. So, I really don't care if I aggravate him. Except, I don't want to lose a... Well, he's not that good. Sorry, son. You're not very good at that position, so... How about you just, um... You know, study hard or something. I don't know. Do something. Alright, anyway. Let us now check on... Nope, not Thor's. Titles. Thank you. Alright, at this point, I think we want to go ahead and create the Kingdom of Novgorod. Because it's going to be... It's going to take a while to get this stuff. And also, I don't want to take too much of this stuff. Because if I do... Then, when I die, those Kingdom titles will automatically get created and parceled off and split my... Um, empire up. And that's not what we want right now. So I'm not going to get enough in this lifetime do all that. So I'm going to go ahead and create this kingdom title, which means it'll all stay together. It costs 250, and we get 400 prestige. Um, and there we go. Now a mighty king. Hurrah! Look, I've got a cape and everything. So that is a good first step towards getting our empire. So we're handling most of this stuff. We are... Um, we're in pretty good shape. We have a son and a daughter. We've got a kingdom now. 
We've got plenty of stuff. We need to start building up um, Novgorod. Let's build a building in there. First thing I think we want to do is start pumping the money up. Um, so we'll start building that. And from there, we shall probably do a bit of raiding. And then we'll start carving out little bits and pieces of Russian stuff over here. And try to get to the head of the Russian culture. Because I don't really care about public works. What I want to go after is Onager. But I can't do that because this dipstick from Bukovina is the head of the culture. But that'll change soon. We'll get there. Anyway, we'll do that next time. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please make sure you mash that like button and ding the bell so you know when I put new stuff out. Hopefully, this campaign will last a little longer than the last one, but we'll see how it goes. I am still learning CK3. It's quite a bit different than CK2. So, we will see how we do. Anyway, mash all the buttons and ding all the bells. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. And until next time, game on.